everyone and welcome back to today's edition of the secret world live stream and when we left off yesterday afternoon we had just moved some abilities and stuff around so we're going to kind of look at those and reacquaint ourselves with what exactly i equipped all right so a blood magic tree we've got this angelic it just large single target blood resource can be powered heals 114 and places an absorbed barrier on your defensive target barrier absorbs 100 percent of incoming damage and dissipates after absorbing 110 damage all right so that's going to be a heal and a little bit of a barrier uh, this is the casted one it takes two seconds to cast but it actually uh functions a little better than the blood shield does i didn't haven't put any other abilities into blood shield there uh looks like we've got three ability points and do we already have this passive no we do not have this passive heals for an additional 55 to targets below 50 percent health i'm not sure if we really need to get into that just yet because we're trying to save up and finish unlocking this tree so we can get deeper into the elementalism here uh, and we'll be trying to pick up toxic earth as soon as we can so we've got this builds our resources and does electrical damage this kind of bonds in place and does damage and this thing right here automatically makes abilities crit and consumes makes them consume no resources and what makes them crit is a passive over here Every eighth attack critically hits. Where's the one? Increases the damage. Uh, I know I picked up a passive for that. Did I equip it? I guess that would be the next question. High voltage. That's that's the one we're looking for. Whenever you activate the anima charge. So I'm going to need to equip that passive somewhere. So the question becomes, which one of these can we get rid of? Yeah, but all elementalism, but we don't want to get rid of that. Increases the amount healed and absorbed by blood shield. Increases the damage of all damage over time effects. Let's get rid of that because we're not like running just tons of dots here. I think we've got a passive that makes some of our abilities create a little bit of damage over time. But that's not really what we're focusing on. Uh, reduces the activation time of combust. Uh, we could get rid of that one if we really had... Another passive that really, really screams, you must have us. Uh, whenever you critically hit, you also deal a small amount of damage. There's the one. Creates damage over time, but only if we critically hit. Um, passives, we've got a couple passives now that's going to increase the amount of critical hits we do. Jabberwocky, what's up, man? Welcome back. Um, so that's what we're rolling with at the moment. And we're going to try to get this one unlocked because I want to see what's in the deeper tier of the elementalism here so i'm gonna at least finish that out because i want to i want to be able, i want to just play around in there and see what's available in there oh so yesterday we picked up the thor's hammer a violent single target elementalism strike that deals a large amount of damage consumes five elemental wow okay well it does a lot of damage it consumes five resources hey dude's wearing my jacket that's so not cool All right, so we made our way into this dude. And now we're going to see what he's got for us. We followed the bear traps in here. Who the hell goes there? Identify yourself. Oh, goddamn. Thought you might be one of them. You better be more careful. Accidents can happen when you sneak up on a man. Put it there. I understand perfectly. Man's got to guard his handshake. Gives away a lot of a person's soul. I'm not talking about that palm reading shit. Shake a man's hand, you get a sense of his worth. His past and present. See the wear on these? Metal working hands. They're fixing things up. Or breaking them. Real slow. No secrets. All in plain sight. More than you can say for this island. You got the back and the stomach for digging deep. All manner of shit comes out. 
But nothing I haven't seen the likes of in my line of work. You're thinking there's nothing dangerous about what I do. You'd be wrong. I can tell you all about what people try to hide behind a coat of white paint. Generator's been acting up, which is fine during the day, but at night, they get bolder when the lights are out. The sea beasts. And my aim gets worse. It makes it hard to tell friend from foe. I think it's in everybody's best interest if those runway lights stay on. Now there, you just saw one of my little qualms with this game. Um, sorry, I get a text message. All the voice acting that's in here, like all these quests that have voice acting, and your character just kind of stands there like a mute idiot and doesn't even react to really what's going on. He just kind of stands there, uh, doesn't shake his head, doesn't, I don't know, even make gestures hardly. Just going, hey, 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 he's talking to me. Um... If you're going to spend all the time doing the voice acting, you couldn't at least throw in a little bit of voice acting for our characters. So that we don't look like complete retarded nincompoops standing there talking to these people. <sighs> so what are we supposed to be doing? Examine the airport blueprints on the wall. There's a big convenient red X to show us where we're supposed to be going. Uh... So there's the blueprints. We've got green and yellow and green and red. Don't know if that's supposed to mean anything yet, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. Check the wiring in passage one. So I guess that's supposed to mean something. Because we're supposed to, oh look, you can't look at it a second time. Isn't that some crap? So where am I supposed to be going? This way, obviously. Let's follow the big red dummy arrows that say go this way, dummy. Looks like we're going underground. At least there's not keypad terminals where I'm supposed to... Oh, that looks electrified. I'm assuming that's going to hurt. But I can't help myself. Yep. Ah. Uh. Not only did it hurt, it hurt a lot. Like, more than I was expecting it to. So, are we supposed to platform? Or, there's other access points. Let's try some of those. And see, now this looks poisoned. <laughs> You go first this time, dude. I don't know. I don't want to be the guinea pig every time. Yep, poison damage. Okay, so and that's whoa! I'm just gonna run face first into that, and there's a monster there. So, it's very, very, very clear of where we're supposed to be going. The question is, how do we get there, and what do we do once we're there? Because there's a fence on the other side. Alright, so like right in here. Yeah, add a marker. Just create the waypoint and quit giving me crap about it. Which is, yep, that right there. Okay. So. It looks like we're going to do a little bit of platforming. And of course that's blocked off. So. There's a pallet. The question is, can I make it? I'm about to find out the hard way. Womp, yeah. Look at me go. See, that's the benefit of growing up playing Mario Brothers. I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Nope, sure didn't. Don't know if I was supposed to make that one or not, but. 
Surely I'm not supposed to just run across there and just eat the damage, am I? Uh, ah, I just got the benefit of the instant cast. Shield is this one. If you don't have resources, it actually costs you a little bit of life to cast it. Oh, get out of the water! See, prevents. Oh, well. Shit. Let's drink that. That prevented damage for a amount of time. So now we're checking this box. If it electrocutes me, I'm screwed because we're already like low on health. Okay, well, the good news is that shut down the. Delete marker. There we go. I shut down electricity. So now we're going to move on to the next one and probably do something pretty darn similar, I would assume. Uh... You know, you would think by now I would have learned that those other doors are going to be blocked off and I just have to go in the ones that I don't want to go in and there's bad guys in here and there's a dude running around in the water try the Thor's hammer boom that didn't look like it did a whole lot of damage did it So I'm going to have to fight something else anyway, so we can see what Thor's hammer does from for that. Alright, we got a lot of resources saved up, and Thor's hammer does not do anywhere near the amount of damage that I would have thought something like that would do. I was expecting a big old half their health, half their health nuke, and that's what I get. Uh, we got some runes. If we can go get some gear that's got some rune slots in it. Which we may just accidentally have enough tokens to do after this. We will go check that out. It'd be nice to get some token gear that's yours bro if you want it so we're to next way down there on the other end so there's no sense of going through and fighting all these things we'll just what is this oh storing elemental that's my every seventh or eighth attack or whatever it does guaranteed to critically hit it's my passive and we're going to go ahead and make the assumption that that door down there is sealed off. And then I'm supposed to find my way. Uh, buh, 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 buh. What does this drink do? Feels 100 amount of damage over 10 seconds, 90 second cooldown. Uh, the question becomes, do you just suck it up and run? or? Oh, we don't need to run across there, we need to run across here. Drink that to and now go 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 go. Oh my god, why is it stopping? Come on. Wow, that just about screwed me. Wasn't expecting that part. Alright, so we're gonna hang out a minute till we start healing up. Cause we don't want to get into anything else crazy. like the fact that the health regens relatively quickly out of combat. I wish I wish it had something more like I like the way uh, Star Wars The Old Republic did it where you've got the ability that you can use anytime you're not in combat to just regen. Cuz just I mean just 
sitting there and just waiting on it is just ridiculous when that's what I'm doing is just sitting there waiting on it. And that's still poisoned down there and I can't get out this way. Oh, happy day. So now what the heck do you do? Go back through that crap that Come on, get on the barrel. Quit being a piece of crap. And then we sit and wait to heal up. See, that's down. I wonder if that's just because that's all I see. I wish it was moving around. Okay, now let's... Go, 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 go! Ah, uh, so. Alright, I don't want another one like that. Please let this one be something different. And if I hit the right button, we'll look and see where we're supposed to be going. Awesome animation. I just wish it did more damage. Alright, what was that I just picked up? Instantly gained five elemental resources. Uh, maybe good to have. Oh, look, I've got this where I'm permanently on fire again. Had that for quite a while yesterday. I hope this dude kill this thing. Because I'm a nice guy. And then we'll run through this water. Oh my goodness, water that doesn't kill you, really? Alright, there's Thor's hammer. Hey, I did a decent chunk of damage that time. Get off of me, dude. I mean, seriously. Quite a few people doing this quest, apparently. All right. Cannot use that object right now. Oh, come on, really? It's still lit up. Why do I have to wait for a respawn for this? Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be, apparently. Oh, don't tell me that client's crashing again. It doesn't look like it. There we go, finally. Interrupted, really. Okay, thank you. Alright, go to the generator room. Is the next tier in the quest, which is down here. Out of all this crap, hopefully. Why you keep all your electrical in a flooded sewage drainage thing, whatever I'm trying to say? I don't know. It looks like the generator room is down there too. And we're probably going to fight that big baddie. The question becomes, how do you get down there? Here's this little point, respawn point. I think I saw a way in from over there, did I? No, 
he's facing that way like people are going to be coming from that direction. There's little, there's tunnels and stuff to get over there. And I don't want to go back in this place. I'm going to tell you that right now. Thor's hammer! And yes, I will probably say that every time! can't go that way unless you're supposed to go down and let's see I should have a map of the sewers because I'm supposed to go in that hole and then come down it doesn't make any sense that I would need to come down this one because this is the one with the poison that doesn't freaking let you run through it and I can't see down there but it looks like that one's closed off too uh, so, I don't know. Looks like we're going to have to go back down here to the left and try to fight our way around. I don't see a, yep, there's a thing coming in on this side too. Is it open? Can you tell? Uh, it's hard to tell. I guess there's one way to find out. What's the worst we're going to do? Waste our time? I guess we could hit the anima charge before we hit Thor's hammer! Oh, come on. And that guy is just gonna run by and let me finish fighting this all by myself. There we go. Skype, Skype, And I don't see a way into... The generator room. Going this way, unless... I'm gonna look like such a genius if this is the right way. Yeah! Look at me go! Oh no, this... What the? Is this not the room that I just went in? Oh, no. Okay. I am as smart as I thought I was. See? See, chat room. I'm a freaking genius. Oh, no. I don't like those. He's named. <laughs> 